Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Toke Moments. My name is Toke Makinwa. Yes, some people are probably wondering who she texting, who she talking to. So this is for all those doubting Thomases who said there was not going to be a vlog this week. In your face! I apologize, however, the vlog is late with not good reason because there should be no excuse why this vlog is late. And, you know, I, I just don't want you guys to think that I'm beginning to take you guys for granted. It's absolutely nothing to do with that. It's just a really, really stressful time. I mean, let me just confide in you guys, you know. There's so much um, I've got my hands involved in. And sometimes it can be very overwhelming. Uh, but I, I mean, yeah, Superman, Kryptonite, whatever. But um, I like to think I'm on top of it. Sometimes I stretch myself too thin. I'm most grateful for this life that I live and of course my career. I take nothing for granted. Busy is good, just as long as you're making money, right? Shmoney! Show me the smarty. Oh, check out my chicka. Oh, oh, oh. Guys, so I'm in New York, by the way. Uh hey! All the witches and wizards. They tried me. Um oh my god, I'm so going to just you guys about what happened to me. Second time. I'm never going to put any picture of myself on the plane they do it because yeah you know sometimes it's just like hey i want my you know followers to keep up with me and to know but i see the bad belly eh, that some people have for me and when i land here it's always like something goes wrong ah so my accommodation got cancelled in the hotel that i booked uh they said they left their portal opened and too many people started to like book for hotels and basically sha you know Myself and Tojo are here, even if she's out right now. Um, and then we got our accommodations cancelled. This is the second time. If I tell you guys what happened to us last year. Ah! Last year, I see all the fun pictures from Miami and all the girls' trip had prepared some people. Oh my God. We missed our flight, flew into New York, got our accommodation cancelled. I can't even tell. That was a disaster. Yeah, I can't even tell you guys how much we suffered last year so before we left nigeria we prayed and said oh lord have mercy yeah take control let this go on as planned we booked on time and you know i love new york city but i'm beginning to feel like the city doesn't love me back I don't know why. so basically the accommodation got cancelled we now have to start looking for another hotel this is the very first time i'm flying direct to new york or or the states normally i would break it like i would spend like a day or two in london because i just don't like the stress but told you said let's just do it direct and this recession is very very expensive to break the flight you know if you just join it together it's kind of cheaper you know so i wanted a cheaper option so we say let's just take the cheaper means you know everybody has to cut see can you just see the city sirens anyhow everybody has to cut your coat to cut into your size or your frame or whatever so basically shall we join the flight so that we can save money and then yeah so i had to like not sleep on the flight through nigeria so that i could just sort of you know my body can just you know get used to the different time zone it's a lie when we landed all that stress i was up till about 3 a.m we had to find a new hotel we didn't really like that new hotel then we decided to book another hotel eventually two days like between the day i landed and now i only just settled in i promise you guys so um that obviously took some time with uploading the vlog and then my laptop was just acting crazy i've just been through like a lot man you guys just have to even pity me you know i'm just so tired I'm just so stressed. I'm not used to this life. I'm a baby girl. Oh, why can't that just be easy? Oh, Lord. Why can't things just work out, you know? But that doesn't melt in my mouth. Why do I have to be stressed? Some people don't go through such stress. I'm not built for that kind of life. I just need a break. Somebody, anybody, help me. All right, so today on the vlog, I'm going to be sharing five things about myself with you guys it's a personal vlog and i want to do more of this as well and uh, i'm going to be sharing five things that a lot of you guys do not know some of you guys might have an idea but you know five things that i think that you know you guys need to know about me number one i'm a very spiritual person if you haven't heard let me just tell you now i'm a prayer warrior hey me i don't fight people i report them to god i'm not joking if you offend me i would never fight you and we go on my knees and report you to G.O.D. Like, I'm God's best friend. Like, I'm not even playing. God and I were really connected, you know. And God has been, you know, like the 
strongest hold in my life. It's gotten me through things that I never thought I would get through. Um, you know, I've been through some pretty tough shit, if you know what I mean. And the grace of God has kept me through those times. And I haven't always been, you know, a believer or like a strong Christian or whatever. But I like my journey with God because with each year and with each season, we get closer. And I think that's how it's supposed to be. All those, you know, if you don't do this, God, you know, forgive you. I'm not really like, I mean, I don't succumb to religion. I believe that a personal relationship with yourself and your creator, it's a journey, like friendships. You know, the way you work at your friendships, you have to keep working at your, you know, relationship with God. You know, sometimes you stumble, you fall. He's always there. You know, you go back, you apologize, and you guys stay connected. So I'm a very spiritual person. I pray, I eat wife material. If you marry me, I'll be praying for you every single day. I don't know what's this thing about people thinking that I'm desperate to get married. It's not true. I joke around a lot, which is number two. I don't take myself seriously. I can have a good laugh at myself. I laugh at the things that people, you know, probably think, you know, why is she laughing at this? I'm the biggest person that will talk about the things that people think I would shy away from. Why we started the vlog. So I'm a big joke. I mean, I laugh at myself. I sit there, take a mirror, analyze my vagina, laugh, tell myself, ah, today maybe this is you know i laugh about the silliest things I, I i mean come on like i'm a joke okay i don't take myself too seriously i think it's also helped me in this business so i'm sharing this to also sort of inspire you as well so uh being in this business the fact that i don't take myself so seriously i haven't slit my throat yet or my wrist it's perfect it's intact check out my handmaid's bracelet <laughs> I'm very vain, number three. I'm sure you guys know that, by the way. Like, I'm extremely vain. I love myself to a fault, you know. I'm kind of obsessed with myself. I mean, it's it's not borderline dangerous, you know. I'm not one of those people that you use the N-word for. I don't think that's it. But I just really like myself, you know. I can totally have a conversation with myself. You know, if you don't talk to me, I'm good. I don't need friends. I am my own force. I'm a mover. I shake up by myself you no know? I think I've always been like that actually I think I've always been that child that you know has always taken risks like I've always been that child that has been a very strong-minded individual I'm a Scorpio yeah you know what they say about Scorpios we're very loyal we're strong people we're very strong-minded and you know we love you know which leads me to you know the next point uh, Scorpios I'll tell you all about us We're as a friend you're good a Scorpio is extremely loyal They'll always have your back. Ooh. I mean, I can fight for my friends. Like, if I think you're in my corner, or, ah, they can beat all of us together because I might not know how to fight. But, you know, forget it. You know, I'm someone who is always straight. Like, I don't believe in cotton corners or being two-faced or all of those crazy shit. Like, that's not me. If I like someone and I'm really into the person and I think the person is a good friend, I will go the extra mile. You know, we can take a licking and keep on taking. That's the thing about Scorpios. But the day we say it's over. We're also very good at cutting people off. It's a very bad attribute. I think that, um, you know, I can love the day I wake up and see the lights. The day my mumu button does not work anymore. Hey, I'm the worst person to have. Because you become worse than a stranger to me. You are dead. I can't even notice you. I can't even realize you. Like your existence doesn't even mean anything to me. God, please forgive me because I know that I'm really trying to work on that. But yeah, that's who I am. Like, yeah, I cut bitches off really quickly more than men because yeah, you know, I like the dick. So yeah, kill me. I like boys. Yeah. But I wish I was like that with guys. Like I wish me, I can take a guy's crap for so long. But the day... I say to myself, oh, Benny, your time is up. This shit, this, it's not working. The guy would think that's a, hey, he's never met me before. I am, yeah, that's not a good attribute. I'm going to do a vlog where I'll share with you five things that are not so great about me as well. So this is me just telling you uh, the things that I think are fantastic about myself. I think I've said five. If I haven't, deal with it. Yeah, so I'm going to be here for a while. Hopefully the vlog will be early next week. Thank you guys for being awesome and being patient as always. I would never take that for granted. Now the vlog is out over the weekend, so you get to watch these over the weekend. I have nothing else to say. I need to sign off right now. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this. This has been very interesting. I, I laughed through the whole of this vlog. Uh, remember, I don't take myself seriously. I think you can learn a thing or two. 
Life is short, man. She eats equally day any fucking time. You know, death can come and knock on your door. So why are you there stressing, tightening the world on your chest? If you're one of those people that are always like, always taking things too seriously, we can never be friends because mm -mm. chat with you on the next episode of Talk and Moments. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitter. I am a toaster with a double R. Check out my bruise. My bruise are flicking. The face is a flick. I did this makeup myself. I myself am a pro M U A. Oh.